Oku may be ending soon, but that doesn't mean that we're done with cute girls on the banner. Hello everyone, Soberoni of GNA Reviews here, bringing you a Servant Spotlight update for our favorite Chaldean Force user, MHX Alter. MHX Alter has received quite a few upgrades since my original Spotlight, and with her raid up coming up soon, I think it's time to take another look at our Cosmic Saber face. So if you're excited to see if MHX Alter has truly obtained unlimited power, be sure to click that like button, subscribe, and ring my bell so that you can catch all of these servant spotlights as they go up and you can help out the channel. And now without further ado, let's take a look at the dark side. MHX Alter has received two direct buffs since her release. Firstly, her instinct was strengthened into Instantaneous Shadow Blade. The skill now grants even more stars and increases MHX Alter's quick card effectiveness by 30% for 3 turns. But beyond that, in JP, she's also received a buff to her first skill, Black Bean Paste, transforming it into the far superior tasting Chestnut Paste, and making it a much better skill in the process. Chestnut Paste not only heals MHX Alter for 2000 HP, but also increases her healing by 50% for 3 turns, and recovers an additional 1000 HP every turn for 3 turns. Furthermore, it also gives her a one-time 30% buff to her crit damage for Arts, Quick, and Buster cards. Thankfully, we won't have to wait long for this buff in NA, as we should be receiving it in early June of this year. Both of MHX Ultra's buffs are pretty strong. Instantaneous Shadow Blade gives her a quick steroid, which may seem small at first, at only 30%, but when you factor in that it stacks with her attack buff from her third skill, it actually provides a very sizable bump to damage. What's more, both her quick buff and her attack buff last for 3 turns, with only 5 turns of cooldown, which means that they can be active for most of the battle, and that they sync up perfectly when used together. The quick buff also also helps tremendously with the NP gain from her Noble Phantasm, allowing her to loop fairly consistently in Scotty teams. And while Instantaneous Shadow Blade covers MHX Alter offensively, Chestnut Paste does a lot to make up for her defensive weaknesses. The buff to healing effectiveness actually occurs before the heal itself, so as soon as she activates the skill, MHX Alter actually heals for 3000 HP instead of 2000, which is pretty good but the additional 1500 HP heal every turn is substantial. MHX Alter can effectively recover 7500 HP over 3 turns. And just like her other skills, this one only has a 5 turn cooldown, so MHX has access to some extremely good healing, easily allowing her to come back from the verge of death. The high uptime heal also allows her to use craft essences like Black Grail without any drawback for even better damage. The skill also buffs crit damage, which can be helpful for the occasional stray crit, but it's not enough to really build around. Just a nice bit of bonus damage if you happen to get lucky enough to crit with MHX Alter. In my initial review of MHX Alter, my biggest concerns with her were her lack of damage output compared to the other Berserkers, her lack of defense, and the niche utility of her third skill. And these buffs go a long way towards fixing those issues. While it is true that MHX Alter may not hit as hard as other Buster Zerkers with her face cards, she nonetheless has one of the strongest NPs in her class, on par with Kintoki and Beowulf, thanks in large part to her quick buff. She also is one of the few MHX servants who can take full advantage of her anti-saber buff, due to her class advantage as a berserker. So she absolutely rips sabers apart better than even most archers do, which gives her a very strong niche since saber enemies are among the most common type. Since her release, there has also been a growth in the variety of quick supports, which indirectly benefits her because in the current meta, she has access to a lot more sources of support and buffing. The buff to her heal skill also makes her substantially tankier, so she isn't as frail as before. But that being said, she is still a berserker, so she can be killed very easily if she's focused fired or critted, since she doesn't have any hard defensive skills like Guts or Evade to fall back on. And while I do think that the star manipulation effect of her third skill is still a bit niche, it's largely irrelevant since the skill primarily functions as a charisma and it does a very good job of that. Naturally, when it comes to team comms, MHX Alter excels in quick teams, specifically when she's supported by servants who can charge her NP gauge, increase her NP gain, or buff her quick cards. 
Obviously, Scotty is the perfect support for her. But aside from her, MHX Ultra also works very well with Santa Altera, Ushiwakamaru, Osakabe Hime, and Helena. All four of them can either directly charge MHX Ultra's NP gauge or buff her NP gain, and they all offer some good damage buffs as well. For craft essences, go with CEs that give starting NP charge and buff quick card effectiveness or NP damage, like Traces of Christmas, Imaginary Around, Princess of Red Bean Paste, or even Chocolate Heaven. As for command codes, I recommend either Star Eradicating Holy Sword for some extra anti-saber crit damage, or a healing command code like Good Wife Wise Fox for some extra healing power. Overall, MHX Ultra has definitely improved since release. She's received the benefits of many strong direct buffs, as well as indirect buffs from better supports. Her damage is much stronger and more consistent, as her Noble Phantasm can outshine most Buster Berserkers. She has a very good anti-saber niche, which can help you out if you lack a powerful archer. Her healing gives her decent staying power for some longer fights. And as an NP looper, she is a top candidate for most of the tough battles and challenge quests. Keep in mind that her lack of a hard defensive skill does still make her vulnerable to being targeted by enemies, and her damage outside of NPs can be lackluster for a Berserker due to her lack of a traditional Buster deck. Still though, MHX Ultra is without a doubt one of the best quick attackers in all of FGO, so she gets an A from me. I think she's in a very good spot, and she can be a great addition to your team if you're in the market for a boss killer or for a reliable damage dealer that you can build around. And those are my thoughts on MHX Ultra. Can't wait for the next MHX Ultra spotlight in two years, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, please do leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you really enjoyed it. Follow us over on Twitter, chill with us on Twitch, and join the party on Discord, all linked in the description down below. Until next time, this is Soberoni, signing out. Later.